Hi guys and kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel and to my Made Simple Attack Strategy Series for Town Hall 13. And who's on the army camp today? Yes, it's Amy the Super Archer and her friends. So today we've got an absolutely sensational attack strategy which is easy to use. So we're going to watch a couple of amazing replays in just a moment. Before we do, let's meet the troops. So your army is going to consist of eight super archers, four yetis, two golems, and six witches. Your spells, eight earthquake, two freed, and one poison. Clan castle troops, two yetis of Valk and a barbarian by the name of Bob. And your donated spell will be a rage spell to sprinkle on top. Normally, we're going to be using the log launcher, guys. So we're going to check out a replay in just a moment. Before we do, just a quick reminder, on this channel, we've got something called a creator code. That means you can help support your favorite content creator in-game by using their creator code. Ours is code moose. All you do is go to settings, scroll down more settings, scroll down support a creator, and there you go, guys. I put a link that does all that for you, by the way, in the video description. So let's jump into our first replay now. Let's go. So through the clouds we go, and guys, the first stage of the attack, it's not using the earthquake spells, no. It's just having a look at the base and relaxing. Find somewhere nice and quiet to concentrate on your attack. Don't be outside jogging or something, it's not going to work. So, yes, the next stage of the attack, of course, is using those earthquake spells to open up the base. Now, ideally, what I want you to do is use four on the town hall, because if you use four on the town hall, it means the log launcher can destroy the town hall. Those logs... There's no stopping them. So the next stage of the attack, after you've done that, you're going to use a golem on the left and golem on the right, maybe with one yeti, couple of witches. It depends how many buildings you need to sort of clear on that side of the funnel. You know, don't be afraid of investing a lot of troops if you have to, because you need to get that funnel right. And then the next stage of the attack is I put the king down sort of in the center before the log launcher to protect it then the log launcher and the rest of the troops. Use that Grand Warden ability nice and early. Put a rage spell down as well to get those troops into the base. And now it's just about really getting ready with those free spells, the poison spell, and managing your hero abilities. Don't send in your royal champion too early. It's a mistake I, I make a lot myself. If you keep your royal champion just sort of on the sidelines for a bit and think, okay, I want to send her in now on that right-hand side to help out it really can make the difference between two and three stars. So this is looking okay. There's a, you know, we have, we've got no way to break through those walls yet, but the Royal Champion's sort of moving through and we don't want to see our Royal Champion running into any other hero. So I'm going to use those three spells there. Hopefully she can take out the enemy queen and keep on going through the base. We've still got that poison spell. Do you know why, guys? Because I always forget to use it. It's always there. It just sits there. And then at the end of the battle, I look down and think, well, oh, it's the poison spell again. But... Do you, know what, do you know why, really, guys, I don't use it? It's because I want to show you, show you how good this attack strategy is. We don't need a poison spell. Yeah, guys. No, uh, so how are we doing now? So we haven't really broken into that compartment. Oh, I've used the poison spell on the left there, guys. I don't know what on. Uh, maybe just the wall segment there. I'm not sure. But the Queen's doing a great job. And look at the super archers, how they're helping sort of get structures that the Queen isn't getting initially. Super archers are great. They really are. I've had so many amazing attack strategies with super archers. As long as you put in the super archers sort of last of all to protect them. So that's maybe what I failed to mention earlier. King down, log launcher behind the king, rest of the troops, and last of all, the super archers. Make sure they go into the base to help out. And look at them there, guys. Fantastic. Oh, no. They did a mortar strike there. That was not good. Um, but no, this is looking okay. And there we go. Three stars. So we've got another replay we're going to check out in a moment. Do remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you'd like to see plenty more videos. So, sort of an anti-three star teaser base kind of, yeah. But it doesn't matter, guys. So what we can do here is I always like attacking from one side against these sort of bases. So I've damaged the town hall again, remember. Then I've sort of opened up the base there. And then I'm thinking, where are we going to attack from? Are we going to... Yeah. Yeah, why not? We're going to attack from over here. Same again. Golem left, golem right. Yeti, couple of witches, and just wait. Be patient. You've got to get that funnel right, because if you put down the troops now, they're going to go left, they're going to go right, they're going to go into the forest, they're going to go into the lake. They're not going to go into the base. So we're just waiting now. There's a Tesla farm in the left-hand corner and a mini Tesla farm in the right. Now we've put the king down, then the queen. This looks okay. There's the log launcher protected now. And this is looking okay. There's the super wizards. Uh, super wizards, sorry. Super witches. No, not even them. Super archers. Get it right, Sir Moose. Sorry, guys. The super archers last of all. Then we've used the Grand Warden ability, the King's ability as well. We need to take out that single target Inferno. Just a quick tip. Always watch out for your King and Royal Champion. Your King always seems to attract a single target Inferno. So if you can use, you've got two free spells, maybe use one of those to protect the King because the King can make a big difference. He's got so much health, you don't want to lose him early to an Inferno Tower. Then, of course, we've sent in the Royal Champion on the left-hand side. 
And we've got, well, we did have one free spell, I think I've used it. And she's doing okay there. We need to take out the town hall quickly, please. There we go. Town hall's been taken out. The queen on the left there. Royal champion and forge. Oh, that was close. Just took out that single target inferno. And now she's taken out that scatter shot. And this is looking okay. We've still got a, uh, oh no. That's Amy, the super archer. Oh dear, that's not nice to see. But we've still got some super archers there. And look, they're taking out that elixir collector. They are really valuable. Over there in the corner, a witch is taking on a Tesla. Very brave of her, and uh, she will be triumphant. So at this point, it doesn't really look like it's going to be three stars, does it? But don't worry, guys. As long as you've got a couple of witches, or at least one left at the end of the attack, it can make a big difference. Uh, those skeletons sort of distracting the defences, meaning your queen can help with the cleanup. And we still got the queen ability. We're going to use it on the king in a second. There we go. Mr. Single Target Inferno. Nice try but not this time. And there we go. The queen ability making the difference there and those super archers just doing their thing. Beautiful. And three stars. So yes, if you're not using super archers, I'd say try using them. They are fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you so much for your support, guys. We've just hit 82,000 subscribers. That is amazing. I will see you later. Samu signing out. Goodbye for now.